talk tonight because I am 17. <laughs> the younger generation, and I have no idea I've got old enough to actually talk at the same time. So this is very scary. But not the most scary things that have happened this week. <laughs> there was the scary time that I was floating away to gear quite quickly. And I have my poor wee skinny crew, Emma, with me, and maybe 15, which is very little. I said, Emma, the most important thing to do is to hold on to something off the boat. Hold on to something, Emma, and you'll be fine. She missed you. That's fine. I'll hold on to something. That's fine. So try to get the boat up. Try to get the boat up. And I saw the spinnaker pool floating away. I said, Emma, take the spinnaker pool. Okay, I'll take, I'll take the spinnaker pool. So try to get the boat up. Try to... And I turned around and here's Emma floating away. <laughs> holding on to the spinnaker pool. Oh no! The boat! <laughs> And the most terrifying thing this week was actually being, or well, last week, was being asked to be part of the racing committee. <laughs> Which I thought would be quite simple. Racing committee, all you have to do is stand there, have a look at the weather. It's, it's all fine, it's great, it's not, it's fine, off you go, no anything. It wasn't like that at all. It was quite terrifying. And in honour to that, I am um, a little bit I've also taken off my hat, because I think it's such an important occasion. So I've written a wee poem, and because I'm part of the younger generation, I've got it on my smartphone. <laughs> I've lost my voice in it, so please excuse me if you can't hear me. And I'll do my best. And it's called An Ode to the Racing Committee or How Not to Make Friends at Port Band. <laughs> so, you think it is fun at Port Band, lots of sea, bit of sun, lots of sand, a stumpy red boat which stays just afloat, and a tent, or a posh caravan, <laughs> and a wonderful, friendly crew of sailors who smile at you, <laughs> who offer you tea, and wine at half tea. <laughs> well, here's a wee warning, or two. If they smile too widely and look pretty, and say something sweet and quite witty, they're hiding a mission to give you a position on the Port Band Racing Committee. <laughs> <laughs> they assure you it's simple and bland. The sailors are at your command. Make a plan, just be bold. They'll do just as they're told. Your decision will never be panned. So day one, I head down to the shore. We three in the brave Commodore. But what a surprise when in front of my eyes there seem to be 22 more. <laughs> <laughs> they gaze meaningfully out at the sea before turning to look at us three. Then each little minion has a different opinion, <laughs> which they voice as a solemn decree. <laughs> Never break 
Big Rules. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 